uh, it has to do with the suspension of the party's uh, parliamentary candidates for 2020. Eunice Lassie is her name, and she's joining us on the line. Madam, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you very much. Have you received this suspension letter that uh, is in publication on citynewsroom.com and other portals? Yes, please. What's your reaction to that? Thank you very much. I want to say good evening to all your listeners. I have this letter from the constituency executive last Thursday. Okay, and what, what do you make of it? Sorry? What do you make of it, the suspension letter? Uh, to me, it's uh, just a normal letter because you've organized um, per the content of the suspension letter. Um, and my offense was you've organized a uh, unity work, NPP unity work, and the constraint. So I attended the unity work. When I got there, I realized that all the constraints, almost all of them, were in a particular candidate or aspirant's t shirt. And I was like, no, this is not a unity work. If it's a unity work, you as a constituency executive, you should stay in Utra so that we go and do our politics, go for our election. Whoever imagines the winner, you can work with the person, but you cannot take sides. Well, even nominations have not been open. We've not even filed yet. You've not even closed nomination yet. You cannot support a candidate. So if that's what they are going to do, then I have to also organize myself and my people. So we also have a, a, a work within the unity work. And that's what happened. So you have a subsect within the bigger bracket of the party doing your own work, chanting your own uh, chants and singing your own songs and playing your own music. That's what's happening. Parallel work, if you like. You know, my intention of bringing that music there was not to destroy their work. Just to bring, you know, it's MPP unity work. You understand? So I also think that, okay, if that will be like, let me help with my machine. So I called my people to just fix the machine uh, in case there is um, a need for them to come around to support the work. I will call them. So when I go to the ground at Nakonko, that's why I find out that all of them, almost all of them, excuse me, almost all of them wear in Doji's um, t shirt So I ask my people to come with the machine. I can't go back. I can't go back because I also have my people on the ground. I can't go back. So I have to organize myself. Your constituency secretary, Prince Akoto, was he part of the people wearing the T-shirt of the other candidate? No, please. But the chairman, the woman organizer, I think there's deputy uh, youth organizer, a few of them. So they don't like you? I don't have a problem whoever likes me or not. Because uh, it has happened before. It's still on record. Our last four years parliamentary race that we went, none of them supported me. So me, I don't have a problem with who they support or not. But not to the extent of organizing MPP work. I got there and it became a uh, dodgy's work. That's why I don't want to take from them. So I decided, no, I won't take this from them. Then I also have to organize my people. So I talked to them and allow them to also have fun. Because at a point, you could see they were just doing the thing. I said, it's about Doji and not even the MPP. What if it was Doji who financed and organized the work and not the party necessarily? So what stops them from making that announcement that Doji is having a, a, a unity work? So why then the MPP a unity work? In the moment you said it's a unity work, which means there is a crack. That's why you're calling for unity work. What stops you from saying it's Doji's work? If I want to do a work in civil constituency, it will be a work with Lassie or something. But I can't say uh, MPP unity work. No. Okay, so you disrupted the, the work. That's what the party is accusing you of. You agree that you did the disruption? I didn't disrupt the work. They deceived the public. Oh, they, the said, they, they say you were playing constituents... music. Anytime they want to speak, you keep playing music. And it's a lie. They, they it's tell... a lie. They asked my people to lower their music so they can speak. We did that. I wish I could tell all the chairman, any of them should come on this platform and tell the whole public that we didn't even off our machine for them to speak. We did that. They said you brought your own private security to the ground because you and knew you were going to own... have... They say you knew you were, you were going to come with violence and even led to a fisticuffs between the organizer and some members of your group. To be honest with you, it is not my own private security. They are party members. They are party members. And they got irritated from the way they announced 
and uh, projected the work. It was like uh, we having a unity work. This person will be coming, and my name was omitted, so they know there is a problem. So they all came in their numbers. I mean, I don't have problem with that. Why should you say I, I bought my security guy? How are Why you, are you saying that? How are you proceeding now? Uh, you have been served a suspension notice. What steps are you taking? Are you just going to watch it roll out or you're going to challenge it? What's the plan? Yeah, I'm just going to respond to it. But before I do that, I want them to give me a report from the disciplinary committee because they invited me. The disciplinary committee in the constituency invited me and asked me the same questions. And I give them my response to why it happened like that. I even end up saying, oh, if that is the problem, then just tell us that I'm sorry. Because the respect is reciprocal. That's what I told them. So I was also demanding that I need the report from the disciplinary committee. And they were like, no, they can't give me. But the report they gave to chairman was not what he sent to me. Last Saturday, the communication officer of the party in second constituency went to Okoliasa to tell them that the report from the uh, disciplinary committee it's what they've written and sent to me as a, a, a suspension letter. So they had all those reports from the disciplinary committee that they need to suspend me. So quickly I called them, but because this is not what we discussed. So I called them, and they were like, no, that was not what we presented to them. So Eunice, if you think we are lying, just request for the, the report. All so right. that's what's happening. Okay, we'll, we'll be following this story. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you very much. That's Eunice Lassie. She's MPP parliamentary, or she was MPP parliamentary candidate for the 2020 election. She's just been suspended by her party executives in the constituency who say that uh, she was engaging in misconduct, for which reason they handed her down uh, that suspension.